Anything? Don't keep me in suspense, Mitzi. It's not her. I didn't find anything. No computers, no laptops, no telephone line. Okay. I'm not really surprised, are you? Not really. At least we can now cross her off the list. Yep. Okay, so. Let's go. Can I take the rag back now? It's done its purpose. Can I look in here? Nope. The rag has served its purpose. Let me take it back. I'll find you that way. Okay, now we can go back to the ground floor. Uh, and then... Check out the mailboxes. And the basement. The mailbox is first. Don't know how long it'll take that old lady to get back. We don't want to get caught. Mailbox. Mitzi, do your thing. Do you think you can unlock this mailbox? I think I can most certainly unlock this mailbox. Then do it quickly. Someone can come in any minute. Yeah, send me off. Aren't you gonna send me off again, aren't you? A little room for the master locksmith. Oy. Really? Could you step away towards the stairs and turn around? Please? Fine, I'll make sure no one comes from downstairs. But if anyone comes through the door, you screw Master criminal. If anything. Done yet, Missy? What'd you get? Gun. Here's yes. all the mail. Hide it in your pockets and let's get out of here. It was mostly junk mail and leaflets. I threw those away. Okay, let's go in the basement. And then we can read the mail. Push your shovey. I'm going to push this cabinet out of the way. I remember there was a door behind it. It's too heavy. I don't think that's gonna work. Are you kidding me? I'll show you how it's done. Stand back. You can do it, Susan. Damn. There. The door everyone's forgotten about. Wow. You're stronger than you look, Mrs. A. Yeah, perhaps I am. Susan's awesome. It's like the whole crippling depression thing. Uh, pipes. Examine. Water supply from the whole building. Can we switch it off here? Hmm. Extension cord? Okay. I'll take that. Much obliged. More junk I don't know what the hell to do with. Coal chute. What the hell? Hasn't been used for many years. All flats have central heating these days. Open it! Can't be opened by hand. I'll need a crank. Mystery solved of what to do with the stupid bicycle crank. Alright, pop it open. So I need to get in here for some reason. Pop it open. What's in here? Are there goodies? Please tell me there are goodies. Oh wait, it's a coal chute. Is there diamonds? Is there a diamond? Filled with coal. Really? It's the obvious? It's frickin' just frickin' coal? Misty, move your ass. I wanna look in. Move. Move, 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 move. It is, it's just freaking coal. What the hell? What the hell? Clean it out with a broom. 
No, I'll find some better use for this room before I return it. Okay. Let's just paint. Examine. It's red, the color of blood. Open it. Lid is stuck. Need some tool to prize it open. Dig it. Okay. So I need like a, a chipper thingy. Letter to Joe, letter to Pauline, extension cord. Hmm. Well, we did need to read the mail. It's from Dr. Frank Zellman. It appears he's Joe's shrink. Apparently, Joe failed to attend his weekly sessions recently. Well, well, looks like Joe's just as messed up as I am. Or worse, who knows? I should be last to make judgments, really. Hmm. Interesting. Dressed to Pauline Summer. She's the young mother who lives in flat eight. Well, let's learn something about her. Well, you... well. Looks like Pauline is looking for a babysitter. This letter says she's supposed to interview an agency nanny later today. Great. I could be a nanny. It's certainly worth a try. But I should warn you. I don't want to have anything to do with that baby. You're gonna have to handle this on your own. Sure, I understand. Leave it to me, Mrs. A. Yeah, that makes sense. Signs. Quiet Haven Hotel. Never heard of it. What is the sign doing down here anyway? Huh. Hmm. I think I've got an idea. I know how I could pay Brian back for all that he's done to me and the cats. Ooh. Brian. The guy from Flat 6, right? Yes. Brian, that nasty piece of shit. He deserves to be punished, you know. And this wedding dress will be perfect for this. You ever heard the legend of the cat widow? Cat. The cat widow? No, nope. I can't say I have. Well, you're not from around here. But I'm sure Brian knows it. He grew up in this city just like me. So, what's it about? It's an old story about a ghost cat who takes a human form to haunt her killer. Wow, that's... pretty crazy, Mrs. A. Do you really think we can pull it off? Yes. Yes, of course. We just need to prepare. A good costume will do the job. This dress, we can alter it. We'll need some red paint, too. Right there. Are you sure about that? I promise this will work. And it will give us a chance to check his computer. If he's got one. Okay. So what do we need? Well, basically, we need three things. A tin of red paint right there on the... Red paint? There's a tin here. We could use that. Just gotta open it. The dress will make a great costume. We just need it in black. Also, it should look damaged. That's important. Cat Widow is a ghost, after all. Okay. I'll need some scissors for that. A mask. We need some kind of mask. I don't want him to recognize me, obviously. Hmm. Take the dress. Because... I'm pretty sure that's what this coal shoot is for. Yes! Yeah, okay, let's just put it back for now. Back on the sewing dummy. Uh, hang it. Okay, now it's it's blackened. 
Now we need scissors, paints, and a mask. Okay. Oh! Oh! Oh no, I can't go back to my apartment now. Uh, wait. I... I, I don't have that glass anymore. God. Ah, frig. That's a waste. Use a glass to slice it up. Okay, so... I still need to get in a flat three somehow. Wait a minute. That's... a good idea. Hopefully it works. Apparently I need to do that thing for Brian before I can even get in those flats, so... Head on in. We know it's empty. Do do do. Do And can I use the broom? Made it long, please, please, yes. I'll try to catch that thing for you. All right. Okie dokie. It's a statue of a cat. How nice. So there's another wacko obsessed with cats in this house. <laughs> Lovely. And they both live on the second floor. So, statue? Examine? Black porcelain cat but with an open mouth. Ooh, there's something in it. Bring it. Sorry, Missy. A key. What happened to the good I see I caught this statue only so you could smash it to pieces. Thanks. I don't remember asking you to catch anything. <laughs> Alright, let's go invade flat number three. Hopefully the Davises won't come home. Because I don't think we could explain that away. Do you, Mitzi? Yeah, probably not. Okay. Time for the house invasion. Okay. Key. Pop it open. Nobody's home. Do you want to go in first? Oh, it's nice and dark in here. I thought this was supposed to be the bright side of the house. Or building, whatever. Come on in. The place seems empty. Well, that's good. Anything in here we can take? No. Nothing's popping up. Oh, here it is. It's bright right here. Watch out, Mrs. A. There's a massive hole in the floor. Oh. Just step around it. I'm not blind. Besides, I know it's there. We saw it from the floor below. True. Just, um, Let's have a look around. Be careful. There's got to be a computer here somewhere. Probably. I really don't like this place. Yeah. It's rather creepy. Another dress mannequin mount thingy. I don't fucking know. Six, six, six. Oh, this can't be good. Bingo. We found what we were looking for. This laptop could be it, you know. I didn't even see the laptop. Frick. Maybe Joe is our guy after all. Maybe. No, no. It's a disaster. Power lead is missing. It won't switch on. Right. What a shame. Can we go now, please? I think I've seen enough. I don't need any more trouble. No, it's okay. I've got an idea. It seems it's a similar model to mine. I'll just go back to the flat and bring my power lead. 
I don't know. You sure this is going to work? I think so. At least we'll give it a shot. Um... Just stay here and I'll be back in a second. What? No. No. Why don't we just go together? Why don't we go together? I really don't like this place. You said you haven't seen this guy for ages. He probably doesn't even live here anymore. Well, why don't we Max. just take the laptop? Nothing's gonna happen. I'll be back before you know it. It's a laptop. It's supposed to be portable. Take the damn thing back to the apartment floor so nothing goes wrong. Because things will go wrong if you leave Susan alone. I just know it. Yeah, I... I'm an idiot but fine, I'm waiting here. God damn it, Susan. No, I'll, I'm counting a hundred. I will count to a hundred. If you're not back, I'm out of here. I'll be back before you get to 75. Don't worry. You better be. Hey, I just remembered something that'll keep you busy. While I'm gone, think of a vegetable. What? Why? To keep your mind occupied. I bet I can guess which vegetable you were thinking of when I'm back. So you're a mind reader now? No. This is just a little experiment of mine. Okay. Whatever. Now go. I'm counting already. <sighs> I really don't Why do I place. always end up in places like this? You're just lucky, Susan. Chair. Do you have it? What a fancy chair. You usually see chair like this one in posh hotels in the country. I'd rather not, it's quite dusty and I'm wearing black. Breaking mirrors. I tried that myself. Didn't cheer me off somehow. Yeah, you did, didn't you? Uh, can we just. Right. Great. Three sixes. The number of the beast. He probably keeps mutilated bodies of his victims here. On the other hand, I read once that there was some other meaning to 3662, something really innocent. I can't remember now. It was a long time ago, and I've had other things in my mind. Even if I wanted to, the doorknob is missing. Great! Seems we almost out of place. I hope Missy hurries. Makes it work soon so I can get the hell out of here. Power lead is missing, so I'm not great with computers. Take it! It's a laptop for Christ's sake. Uh, socket? Once we got a power lead, we can plug it in. But, I. Th it. What is that noise anyway? Co rack. What is that fucking. What's a phone ringing? What desk? All covered with pages pinned to the wall, and they look like handwritten letters. Okay. I don't want to answer the phone. I have to answer the phone, don't I? What? It stopped ringing. Careful now. Strange, I don't think it's even plugged in. It may just by a minute. What? Uh, remember the hole, Susan. Yes, remember the hole. What was that creek? Please tell me that's just background. Oh god. Uh, turn it off. It's just white noise. Oh, Jeebus! <sighs> right. I'm done waiting. I need to leave right now. Yeah, you do. You, you leave right frickin' now. Oh Just my god. Just one big step. Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out of this place. Oh, fuck Damn. Anyway. The door handle just came off in my hand. How am I going to get out of here now? You gave me a doorknob. I'm not doing that. She's based on her own. Mitzi!
Mitzi, are you there? Mitzi, where the fuck are you? Shit. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. I really don't like this. So, what? That oh. damn hole. Nearly forgot about it this time. Okay. Okay, I know what I have to do. Why is the light moving now? That was not moving before. I have to go in this devil door, don't I? It gave me a doorknob. It's the only place I can go. I... I... Uh. Son of a bitch. Please don't work. I mean, you can't just stick a knob in a hole and off. Oh, fuck, it worked, didn't it? Oh god, it worked. I don't want to go in there. It looks dark and scary. Uh, yeah, we, we, we know this. Fuck you. Oh god, what is that? Is, oh, it's a mannequin. The water from the bath is completely flooded the bathroom floor. Not that I care. I just want to leave as soon as possible. Uh, okay, a mannequin in the bath. This guy is nuts, no doubt about that. Not arguing with you, Susan. Let's get the a toilet. What's in the toilet? Is there anything in here that I can... <gasps> this must be the power lead we need. Maybe it looks on my side today after all. Take it. Yes. We've got the power lead. What? What? Aw. Oh, fuck. I don't think I can explain this away. She's taken the laptop and gotten the fuck out. She's taken the laptop and gotten the fuck out. Damn it! Idiots! What the fuck? What the? I've got to get out of here. Um. Yes. Yes, we do. Oh, hi. Just leaving. What? What, what? Jesus. No. Joe? You were not supposed to be here! I'll leave. I'll leave real fast. Promise. Just... I I'm leaving. Don't worry. I'm, I'm gonna go. I gotta Why go. did you have to ruin everything? What? What have you done? You stupid, evil, bitch. Um, Who are you? I... Um, the door was open? I'm sorry, the door was open? I thought you moved out. You took her away, didn't you? Her. What has she ever done? Done to you. What? What? Look, sir, you are wrong. I just came here to find my cat. It's gone missing. Yeah, I see. That stupid cat. I've been looking for it too. A little bastard took off with my key. I'm gonna rip him to pieces. Trouble. Just let me go. And I've got a gun. I can shoot you right there in your heart. It's not worth it, Joe. I've done you no harm. Of course, you haven't got a heart. 
Isn't that right? I... I have no idea what you're talking about. Listen, I've got to go now, all right? I'll slowly walk out of here and you'll never see me again. Joe, be cool. Be cool, dude. Calm down, just... Calm down. I'll go now and we'll forget all about this. There's nowhere to go. It's all wrong. No matter what I do. Damn it! Huh? Get back here right now and give me that blasted key! Please, don't get angry. I don't have any keys. Just sit down and take a deep breath while I make my way out, alright? Shit. Shit. Get away from me. Oh wait, the hole, the hole, Susan, the fucking hole! Shit! Ooh! Did she crack her skull open and get killed again? Yep. She's dead again, isn't she? Shit. <laughs>